Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking a closer look at the new Apex Tech Shorts. So these have had a slight upgrade on the previous version. They've made the neoprene a bit more eco-friendly, but the main upgrades are to the pockets. So the pocket pouches themselves have actually been uh, sort of updated and made uh, sort of a little bit different. Um, but yeah, otherwise these are a great way of adding some storage options uh, to your wetsuit if your wetsuit doesn't have pockets or if your dry suit doesn't have pockets, or if you just wanna wear these by themselves, um, just with a rash vest and board shorts, then this is a great way of adding thigh pockets so that you can put sort of tools and spare masks and bits and bobs sort of with you uh, in a really convenient place. So taking a closer look, starting up around the waist. So around the waistband, we have a, uh, a nylon cord or a belt that goes all the way around your waist. And you've got uh, one way adjustment with a kind of locking mechanism on one side. So once you get it to the right size for your waist, it's kind of set. Um, so that way between dives, when you're putting it on, it creates a nice sort of secure fit. So even if you put something heavy in the pockets, it's not gonna be pulling your shorts down. Pinch clip release, um, so you can quickly get in and out of it. Underneath that belt on both sides, you have this Velcro tab, and this is the uh, the new nice kind of Velcro, which is very soft. Um, and then you can sort of get that sort of perfect snug fit, uh, so it fits around your waist nice and comfortable. Uh, you have that on both sides, uh, both on the left and the right, uh, so you can get it just right, so it's nice and comfortable. Moving down on the outside of the um, of the shorts, so they have this reinforced, this is a bit like Super Trex neoprene by the looks of it, this external lining, which is a bit stronger than uh, just traditional neoprene lining. It's abrasion resistant, so it's, uh, it's not sort of gonna uh, cut or rip. All of the seams you can see, so these are actually liquid glued, uh, so that's protecting those seams. So again, if you do um, sort of brush up against something, even if the, uh, the seam itself, the actual thread is cut, it's not gonna undo because it's been glued. Um, it also makes it a bit softer as well. Onto the pockets, which are the main feature of the um, of the tech pockets. So on the outside, you have a um, this kind of Velcro, uh, sort of tab so that you can get in and out of the pockets, but you also have a zippered section at the top of that. On the inside, uh, there's nothing on the inside, uh, it's just a small section, so this is great for smaller tools. Uh, you can put like a cutting device inside of that, you can put spare bolt snaps, sort of bits and bobs that you need uh, sort of to just quickly access without having to open the entire pocket. Zip that closed. Underneath here, you can just see a, a bar. So this is a, a rigid, um, I don't know the material because I can't see it. Um, I presume it's some kind of plastic bar on the inside. And um, and that gives you something to grab hold of. Instead of just a, a, a flimsy piece of material, you actually have that bar so you can feel for that. You can grab hold of it and then open the pocket. So three sections of Velcro and a big section of uh, sort of Velcro. And uh, that just means that whenever you're done with a pocket, even if you just let go of it, it's naturally going to uh, sort of seal itself and close that pocket, unlike a zipper. Uh, and if you do have lots inside of the pockets, uh, you've got plenty of room for adjustment. So it's always going to um, sort of close itself. Pockets themselves are pretty big. You can see that's the cross section of the pocket. Um, so plenty of space inside. And and uh, it's just a big square open section. Right at the top, you have two lanyard attachment points, these anchor points, you can clip bolt snaps off onto that for your tools. That way, if you do open your pocket, even if something does fall out, at least then it's still attached and anchored into the pocket so you can retrieve it and put it back in. It's not gonna just disappear. You also have a second flat section uh, right up against your leg. This is handy for notebooks and, uh, and uh, slates and stuff. So if you've got something flat that you wanna keep organized away from the rest of your pockets, you have that second internal pocket uh, so you can organize your stuff. Other than that, at the bottom of the pocket, you have this mesh panel. So this mesh is just allowing it to drain uh, after the dive. So when you're getting out of the water, you don't have this huge pool of water um, that you have to lug and carry around. It's just gonna drain out through there. On the other side, uh, I imagine the pocket is very much the same. Uh, you've got the zippers opening at the top, no anchor points inside of that. Inside here, 
uh, again, two anchor points, so you can clip your bolt snap points into it, and a separate uh, flat section for, uh, for your wet notes or whatever. Okay, so flipping these shorts over, looking at the back. So the back, you see the uh, the belt, uh, so that anchors down at the back there. Just uh, means that that section of neoprene at the back just gives you a little bit of um, sort of wiggle movement, just so that the um, the belt isn't just one exact um, sort of fitness and gets uncomfortable. You get a bit of suspension in there. And then all over the seat, all over your bum, uh, you have this reinforced detail, which is just the Apex logo repeated in a funky pattern. And uh, this is, again, is abrasion resistant. So if you sat down on something, um, I don't know, something coarse, uh, it's not gonna damage the shorts but they also get a little bit grippy when they're wet. So if you're sat on the, um, on the side, the tender of a, of a rib and it's wet, it actually gives you a little bit of grip so you're not sliding around and you're not gonna slip off. Again, the seams you can see here, these are all as uh, liquid sealed, unlike these ones up here around the waist. So these are nice and strong. And uh, yeah, even if that thread does get damaged, it's not gonna undo the entire seam. Right in the uh, the crotch, you see we have a uh, an open. Uh, there's no seam going straight across your crotch, so that's never going to rub. Uh, you have this kind of diamond uh, sort of leaf shape, so that's really nice and comfortable. Inside the shorts, uh, nothing remarkable. You can see they're blind stitched because you can't see the stitch on this side, so that means that the uh, the, uh, the stitching isn't going all the way through the neoprene, so that way water can't penetrate through, uh, but you can see the glue here that they've um, sort of sealed it down with. Um, other than that, it's just a traditional neoprene lining. So all in all, yeah, a really great, efficient way of getting some storage pockets onto your thighs. Uh, you can wear these by themselves, just as a pair of, sort of neoprene shorts. They're gonna add a little bit of thermal protection, um, just to your shorts area. Uh, you can wear them over your wetsuit. That's primarily what they're designed for so that you can add thigh pockets really quickly without having to glue them or use any kind of complicated harness rigging system to add any uh, sort of pockets to your existing wetsuit or your dry suit. Um, if you do have a, a thin dry suit that doesn't have any pockets and you want pockets, it's definitely worth checking out the Apex Tech Shorts. Um, for me, yeah, they tick all of the boxes. They've got a nice uh, sort of belt system. So even if you've got heavy stuff, it's not gonna be dragging them down. The pockets are a decent size. The material is a little bit scratchy, um, but it feels tough and uh, sort of abrasion resistant, so I wouldn't worry about it. The only thing that I change about them is I'd probably put an anchor point inside that zippered section, but it's not really a deal breaker for me because yeah, you only put sort of small bits and bobs inside of that. Um, but all in all, yeah, a very nice pair of tech shorts uh, just to add some storage options. Check them out on our website, simplyscuba.com. There'll be a link down in the description below. Thank you for watching and safe diving.